woke up this morning with money on my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm rush out, big man, I'm focused on your fine. Mm-hmm. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. Mm-hmm. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? The Real 10K Squad back again with an update thoughts and opinions video. It's your boy Travis checking in. And it is your girl Queen Key off in this thing. Okay, now, I think maybe last week when we had more information, we gave y'all the information about uh, the Beam Squad and their situation. Mm-hmm. And we told you on the 16th they were going to court. Right. Well, I said... I think I said accidentally the 14th, but somebody quickly said that's a Saturday. But I, okay, cool. I'm not going to court, so I didn't know exactly. But it was the 16th, which was yesterday. So they went to court on the. I'm going to say this. I'm shocked that court was open yesterday because everything's shutting down. But I guess I guess they it was already on the docket, so they had to, you know what I'm saying, right. get it out of the way. But they did go to court. Because they, they actually went to court in February and they, po- they, they posted on to this, so they already had the date set. So they went to court, and let me read this as follows. So it says Billy Altador and Ivani Lewis sentenced to what they were charged with was conspiracy to commit theft of government property and identity theft. So that was what they were sentenced to. So now it says Orlando, Florida, a South Florida couple with a popular YouTube channel named The Beam Squad have been sentenced to federal prison for stealing social security and federal tax funds. Billy Altador, 29, received two years and Ivani Lewis, 28, received one year and a day. Uh, I hate when the feds do that one year and a day. Like, that's stupid. It's just one year. Like, what the hell is the extra day for? Um, it said during a Monday hearing in Orlando Federal Court, According to court records, they they must each, they were also each ordered to serve two years of supervised release, which is probation. So they had four, but do two. And she had three and do one. Basically. So they're going to do two outside probation. And she's going to do one on a day. And he's going to do two years behind bars. So um, it was crazy how they gave them different times. They gave him two and gave her one. Um, maybe the kids helped play a role in her getting one. Uh, they said they also are going to pay nearly 94000 which is like 93000 and some change. $94,000 in restitution, both. Uh, they, a piece. So, yes. Yeah. That's almost $100,000 a piece they got to pay in restitution. They pleaded guilty last July. To conspiracy to commit theft of government funds and aggravated identity theft. According to the court documents, Louis Altador and others used stolen personal information to access Social Security Administration's website to direct benefit payments to accounts controlled by the conspirators. The conspirators accessed or attempted to access the online accounts belonging to more than 1,400 individuals without victims knowing, without victims acknowledgement. And or authorization. How many people? Over fourteen hundred. That's a thousand four hundred. But y'all up here talking about everybody people, do wrong. And people make mistakes. People make mistakes. First of all, commit 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 a crime of stealing government funds is not a mistake. That's not a mistake. That's something you don't accidentally do. You fourteen hundred people. You wanted that money. You were trying to get you it in. You was trying to get it in. And no, I don't feel sorry for them because of their children. A lot of people were saying, y'all should feel sorry for them because of their children. Y'all got children. Ain't nobody going to feel damn sorry for my children if I went out there and did some dumb shit like that. That's facts. And you got to understand something. If you're a kid, if you're a child, and you're saying that nobody's going to feel sorry for you, y'all got to stop acting like this world is beautiful and perfect. If your mama did a crime right now, nobody's gonna feel sorry for you. You know who? It maybe except your grandmama gonna take you or something like that. And you day. and nowadays that it takes a village to raise children. That shit is out the door. Motherfuckers will see you about to go do some time and let your kids go into state custody right. before they start to take them. Your own family. So that makes me wonder who's taking their children. Right. Because you like y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. And, 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 and this ain't this ain't us being you know, harsh or rude. This just 
we see we see the world through through truth. Through you know what I'm saying, through realistic eyes. I, I'm a realist. I only see things as real. I don't see things as what if the world could be like this? I don't raise my kids like that because I don't want them heartbroken at the end of the day. I don't want to tell my kids a bunch of bullshit and say, you know, the world is all, all roses and beautiful flowers. And when they go outside, they get their feelings hurt. I give it to them in the truth. She gives it to them in the truth because that's what the world is going to give you when you go outside. So all that, you know, I feel bad for the kids. I feel bad that they have kids in this situation, not for the kids, because you don't put yourself in fucked up situations when you have kids. Right. Um, the rest of the story is the conspirators also use stolen personal information to file false tax returns and directed the fraudulent obtained tax returns into accounts they control. Investigators said they also use stolen identities to activate debit cards and bank accounts to receive the fraudulent tax funds. So they they planned this shit out to a they, T. They opened up. They opened up fake bank I accounts. I don't feel sorry for them at all. They deserve what hell. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like they should have got more time. To be honest with you, but over fourteen hundred people. But they told them some people. Still, I don't give a damn if you snitched. You still should have got more time. Over fourteen hundred people, and you. And the fourteen hundred people, fourteen hundred people were the uh, the social security. security. Yeah, and you up here filing goddamn tax returns. You like a nigga. They hurt a lot of people out here. A lot of people went hungry. A lot of people went. A lot, a lot of people. A lot of people from their situation is still struggling to get their tax returns right now. And a lot of people are struggling to get they get they stuff back on their feet because you got to think about again when people get these um these disability checks or these SSI checks, they shit is already uh, accounted for. They 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 check is set out for certain stuff. My grandmother gets a, a disability check and a um, SSI check. Her shit is set out the way it should be set out already. She know I got to pay this much. Because she so much anyway. I got to pay this much on my light. I got to pay this much for my light bill. She don't got cable because she can't afford it. Her check ain't that much. So I got to pay this much for my um her phone bill. Phone bill. Then she got to pay this much for food because they don't give her food stamps because she gets an SSI check and a disability check. So her checks are already set out how she has to pay her bills. So if that would have been my grandmother um affected by this Oh, somebody would somebody would have had to pay. Hey, y'all gotta stop with this. Y'all act like y'all never done anything wrong. Okay, this 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 is this is we humans. We all have done wrong, and when you get when you do wrong, you pay the price for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I already told y'all. Y'all know me. I done done jail time before. I done went to prison. You know what I'm saying? But nobody went saying, "Oh, I feel bad for you." No, I went and did my time. I went and did because I committed my crime. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Y'all got like y'all fall in love with these people. Now, I'm not gonna say YouTubers, but celebrities or whoever, y'all fall in love with these people so much till y'all get caught up and feel like they're untouchable or if they get in trouble, or, you know, they, they they were young and they were and you know everybody makes mistakes and that's but that's not how it works though. It's not everybody everybody don't make mistakes. You got some people ain't never been to jail a day in their life. Because they're not making stupid ass mistakes. Those aren't mistakes. When you when you steal, that's damn, that's like a white collar crime. You stealing money from the government. That's not a mistake. You didn't accidentally do that. Mm -hmm. And you didn't do it once. You did it multiple times. Even if you did it once, I'd have said, okay, you made a mistake. Somebody showed you how to do something, and you like, you know what? Let me try it. And you stuck your hand and tried it, and you like, you know what? That was. That was cool. I ain't gonna do it no more though. Mm -hmm. But you went back and went back and went back and went back. You know what I'm saying? Continuously. For years, you continuously did it. Because you know why? It was an easy lick for you at the moment. Yeah. And what's what you upset about now is that you got caught. Yeah, yeah, you are not you're, yeah, you're not mad that it happened. You're mad because you got caught doing it. You know what I'm saying? You, you, now you say I've changed, and we, we, you know, we're mad because we did that. No, you mad because you got caught doing it. 
Because if you didn't get caught, you probably would still be living that life. Because I don't think that a lot of people say, you know, when you go to jail, it changes people and stuff. They didn't get enough time for them to change their mindset. Only way I feel like they change their mindset when they come out of jail is like Travis said, if something seriously happened to them while they were in there. And nothing's going to happen to you in the yeah, fed no. jail, federal jail. Nothing's going to happen to you in federal prison, I mean. So I'm going to say this and people can hate on me. Well, the, mo the most that can happen is if they paperwork get passed around and people say that y'all was snitches. Now, the only thing... Mm, they better hope that don't happen then. That happens. The only thing... um, A lot of people going to be like, well, you wrong as hell for that. What I feel like what should have happened instead of giving them... Giving him two years, four years due to in and two out, you should have gave him them whole four years. Instead of giving her them um, three years, do one and two out, you should have gave her them whole three years because these people are not going to change their mindset. You see how they sit up there in the video and was talking about this happened five years ago and they came back from five years ago. They not, they're not accepting what they did. They thinking, well, we did it because we had no other choice. No, you had a choice. Get your ass up, go get that's, a job. That's what killed me too. Like somebody in the comment section, and this is not a shot to them because a lot of people think that way. And I told her that and she said, yeah, you know, you're right. I, I guess she may be from Florida or whatever, but she was like, yeah, you know, people in Miami, they do scamming and stuff because, you know, there's no opportunities out there. There's no jobs. And I'm like, that's bullshit. People don't scam because there's no opportunities. People scam because that's fast money. People scam, Man. people scam because that's the easy way. I ain't got to get off my ass and get a job. So I'm going to go take from somebody else. People don't realize when you're scamming, they feel like you're just taking from the bank. No, you fucking people's accounts and money up. And you feel what I'm saying? Like, you fucking people life up. Identity theft, you fucking people life up. Like, identity theft is really messing somebody life up. And... I, I done heard stories where people say... It done took them years to get this shit clean. Yeah, because niggas, niggas be buying cars off your, off your identity and houses. And it's a girl I work with. She said her, she can't even file her, her um, taxes like other people file theirs because her social security got a red flag on. She said every year she got to goddamn have a certain PIN number to every file year. her taxes. And she was like, and if the PIN don't go in, right, she has to go to the um, and file, IRS. And file by paper. Every year. And that's that. Come on, man. And all because somebody done used your name somewhere and filed a fraudulent tax return on you. It's like, I, I hope that this teaches them a lesson. They'll go the straight route. You know what I'm saying? Get out and do better. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm i at the end of the day, I'm assuming. But me watching them in those two videos, them talking about this, they're not taking what they did. Serious. Serious, and they're not taking acknowledgement. Like I did that. That was wrong of me to do that. Yeah. They keep on saying this happened five years ago, and you know, came I, back five it years don't ago. If it happened and, twenty years and ago, and you know I didn't have no other choice because I was living in a car with my mama, and and we was doing it. Like no, there's no excuses. It is you did it. You did it. Now you got to do the time. What, what? you should have said was you came on there and said, y'all, we did this, this, and that. Yeah. And we finna have to serve this time for it. Well, it's always a choice. Like, I hate when people say, I didn't have a choice because I was homeless, so I robbed and stole. It's like, nah, it's always a choice. You'll get a job. Like, there's, and, and I hate when people say, man, these folks are hiring. Ain't nobody hiring. That's bullshit. Everywhere I go, people are hiring. Man, since I've been in this, and I can't speak for other states, but since we've been back here in Atlanta, Georgia, I done had one, wait, I done had six jobs since we've been back here. Six, five of them were temps. Yeah. And I stayed at all of them good time. Yeah. Good time. It, I'm going to tell, tell you what it is though. It's, that, it's to the point where you can't let your pride get in the way of what kind of job you're going to do. Especially when you're in a situation of being homeless or living in a car. You can't be, you can't be shamed to work at McDonald's. 
You can't be ashamed to work at Wendy's because guess what? You're homeless. You in a car. You got to get it for what you know. You, you, you got to do, do this to come up here to get to get a better job. Mm -hmm. But most people, are like, man, I ain't working in no fast food. Shoot, man, I go scam. So you're going to take from somebody because you don't want to work at fast food or something like that. That makes no sense to me. Because people don't want to put in work. And people kill me. And y'all bashing them. It's public record. I ain't bashing I'm just giving y'all what this public record is. And for me to say, if I say, well, you deserve what you got. I mean, you committed a crime, didn't you? That's not bashing. That's not bashing. That's a, a fact. You deserve that's, what you got. That's my opinion. You deserve what you what you done did. Yeah, hell, they gave me a one new five. I deserve what the fuck I had got. <laughs> I mean, five new one. You know what I'm saying? But I deserve what I got. I ain't never been in no trouble like that. I ain't cry about it. You know what I'm saying? But if I did, if I did do anything to where I had to go to prison, you deserve that, what which you I got. deserved it. That's but that's, that's the same thing. I never wanted to go to jail. So you know what I do? I keep my black ass out of trouble. I don't get in trouble because I know I don't want to go to prison. Right. And the, at this day and time, these folks ain't playing with you. They're giving you prison time. They're giving you time time. Yeah, not jail time. They're giving you prison time now. You just do the baby. Time time. <laughs> yes. But they're giving for real. Yeah, that's true. That's facts. Like, these people. They giving people time for some for for some, for some, Well, they giving you more time for drugs than give you for murder now. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I just, we just wanted to update y'all for the people who wanted to know who didn't know. We wanted to update y'all because uh, a lot of people were speculating where they're going to get some time in jail, where they're not going to get some time in jail. I knew they were going to get something. I just didn't know how much time it was going to be. I think they got off fair, fairly lenient. I think they would. I think they would have skated fairly easy. Yeah, that to do I to do two years in one year. Right now, I'd be writing judge thank you letters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they they really got out real easy. That's why I did. said they they they're not paying. They're not paying for their crime because they told on everybody. You know they had to tell if they only got two years in one year. Well, well, we already got we already got YouTube videos of. People they try to tell on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and lie. And this lady say they done stole her bank information and was depositing money to her bank account. Which was Billy's uh brother's girlfriend. So she ended up getting off by proving that she had nothing to do with the situation. But so you know. But that's that's what happens when you start singing and telling and shit like that. Which that don't work for you good always either. Mm -mm. Damn, that's crazy. But no, when I say they was giving you time for drugs, mm. I mean like they giving people time. You remember they gave um the dude from Love and Hip Hop all that time, and he didn't even had that much weed on him. Uh, 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 what his name was Scrap? Scrap, Scrap. Yeah, he had they, he had weed. They gave him like five years. Yeah, they giving people time for blunts. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh. You had you had that much? Oh, you was trying to sell. Yeah, like, I was, I was to smoke smoke this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so they giving you. people time. They and, 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 and when you talk about federal, they really ain't playing with you. When you talk about the feds involved, they really ain't playing with you. But um, like I said I hope this I hope this teaches them. I hope it teach other people. That you no, know, because you know somebody mentioned it too. It was another YouTube girl that was doing the same thing, but I think her story was different. It was a little different, yeah. But um, I didn't know about that one until somebody brought that to us. Yeah, her story was a little different. I, 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 I seen it. I forgot how it was, so I don't want to tell a lie. Mm -mm. But it was a little different. But I said, I hope this teach other people, which it's not, because people are going to do what the fuck they want to do when they don't got that committed crimes. Crimes ain't never stopped being committed. Crimes going to continue to be committed because they out there to be committed. But um, I hope it do teach some people some lessons to not play with this shit like that. So let me ask you a question. When somebody done got in trouble and they snitch to get less time, they get out of jail, out of prison, whether they come home and stuff, are you their friend or you like, hell no, nigga, you snitch? No, nah, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell me I'm a little different. And I guess you, I guess y'all can say because I'm a little older, but I live by, I live by a code. 
And I didn't, first of all, I live by a no snitch code because somebody just said that, you know, hey, you you can just snitch and do something. something. I'm like, hell no, I can't snitch and do shit because of what I believe in. I believe you play, I believe, I believe when you are, it don't count for you. I'm going to tell you why. We're two different people. It don't count for you. You're a civilian. You don't break laws. You don't commit crimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? You can tell on people. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It, you gotta understand what I how, okay how 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 what I've learned because and because you know because I've changed as a person, but because of where I've been, the people I've associated with all my life, they look at me differently. You know what I'm saying? So they still gonna look at me as nigga. You from the streets? You ain't allowed to snitch. You see what I'm saying? You done seen too much. You done did too much. You're not allowed. So. That's why I said we come from two different lanes. My thing is, I can't. You get out and you don't snitch. I can't associate with you. I can't either. But, I, I I don't associate myself with but, that. But mm -hmm. but 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 the way the the way the world has changed these days, and that's how that's how it used to move that way. You got in prison, you don't snitch. You may get your ass beat. You had to go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But now, the way the way the world works now, you can snitch. Come home and get a party. Yeah. They throw you a victim a party. Welcome home party now. The, these people don't care. They don't look at snitching the same way no more. It doesn't matter to them. So, like, if you got gangsters snitching. See, I don't. I can't associate myself with no snitch because I don't trust you. Period. I can do anything. You be pick up. The, oh yeah, she was doing it. Because you know I think if you tell, I think if you are told to get out. I think you still on that line. You still working with them folks. Yeah, <laughs> them people call you. They've been up planning you in with somebody that's doing some old crazy shit. Right. And people feel like, yeah, them niggas down because they did that. Right. They, they went to jail, you know, did prison time for that. I know they ride like that. Right. They'll let you in they count. Then they're saying, you know, people like, you can't get the information on such and such. And they pulling up on you. Mm -hmm. And you trying to figure out how the hell they know. And then you're going to put two and two together and be like, oh, somebody got to go. You're going to say that. You're going to think about, it. oh, somebody got to go. Right. It's just, it's just, I don't know, man. I, like I said, I can't do no. So do you think the whole little crew that's around them gonna fuck with them after they done snitch? Yeah. Society has changed. Yeah. Hmm. Society done changed. It ain't the same rules no more. Society done changed. Because you know why? People so are you saying the Pantones, 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 whatever they name Pantone is. Squad. A man in Yeah, probably so. Because you know why? People feel like they, because they did what they had to do. That's how people, they had kids. They did what they had to do. Well, I hope ain't none of them did now. Because that's how I think. I would really think, like, if I done did something and they knew, they going to snitch. They going to tell. Not, e e not even to get out of trouble. They just going to snitch just because. They going to tell. Well, because I, I already know now if there's any, I don't know if the feds threaten you, you're going to fall. Yeah. You're going to fall. I know that. You're going to fall. And people don't realize, most people who snitch don't realize, most time these people threatening you, they don't really have nothing on you in the first place. They just want to see if you're going to follow them. And that E-Folk, they, they walking in the room. I, I, I know who did it. Like, before they ain't threatening you now. And then y'all got to look at this too. Look at how first the first 48 is. Then people come in the room and say, oh yeah, Travis already not told us you did it, Keanu. He already done said he seen you pull up, shoot the man in the leg, and drive off. And, and get what she gonna do. Okay, this is what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> and he really done, but the thing is, he really done. I really talk, done talk. And, I say, and I said that to say this the police don't cover the person who told them what really happened. Hell no. They throw you under the bus. They tell the person, see, now what if I was some old. People, person that knock people off for telling on me, and I be sitting up there like, oh, really? Well, they well, they'll lock you up if you done told somebody in the street. You know what? He the one told. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now they ain't gonna solve a murder, too. <laughs> like, why would you do uh, the first 48? Like, that's that's real shit. It's not scripted, y'all. No, that's real. That, so that's that tells me. When you went to school and went to prison. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. fool really went to jail for, for killing, killing somebody. somebody. Yeah. He just got out like last year. Yeah. He did some years, like, some time, like, time. Like, like, like 13, 12, 13 years. Yeah. Maybe. So it's like, I already know that if them people ask them to snitch on somebody, they're going to do it. Yeah. So I can't I can't even associate myself with them. Now, like I said, maybe the Pantones and Amanda and Jimmy is different because ain't Amanda, somebody from Amanda and Jimmy. Jimmy is Jimmy's brother's brother. 
So he got to roll with him because that's his brother. Crazy hell. My brother snitch. I ain't rolling with you. Nigga, we, you snitch, nigga. We no longer associated. You my brother over there, nigga. You, you over there, nigga. Even at the family union, you don't know, come over here. Don't bring your snitching ass over here. Stay yeah. over that side, nigga. Like, yeah, like, we heard your brother. They go, you know what? They gonna be like, um, that man on that song. I know y'all. We finna, we finna wrap this up. They gonna be like, it's time to go to trial, man. It's time to go to trial. When that man said they know about that diamond that's in my little sister's mouth, and then he was like, how the hell they know? Like somebody been yeah. talking. For, I'm telling you. Know about my, what he said, know about my cause that I put in my mama's name. And then they been, I did some crime and my brother snitched on me. But I'm no longer associated with y'all. But anyway, y'all let us know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Um, would y'all would have snitched to get less years? Yes. Had the majority of people out here would fall. And they'll tell you no. They'll tell you no now. They'll tell you no now because they ain't never been up under their heat. Let, I'm going to tell you what, 75% of the people that's watching this video, you get in that interrogation, you're going to take it. See, this is the thing. I'm I'm not going to jail because I keep myself out of trouble. I ain't never been in no type of trouble like that. I stay away from people that carry that kind of cloud over them. But if I just was to get in any type of trouble like that, I would feel like if I was snitched, somebody's going to kill somebody in my family. That's how I, I I grew up under people up under uncles and yeah um seeing my auntie's boyfriends and shit like that that was in the that street, was in the street life, yeah. so that shit showed me like you can't yeah, tell the street life is real yeah you but, can't but but, but, you, but you you gotta know what you're dealing with from the beginning like like I said I I feel like seventy five percent of people that's watching the video and not just calling y'all snitches it's just that pressure. That pressure buzz pipes. Pressure gonna make you tell because you're not from that. You're not built like that. No way. They not built like that for real. So, but my and my thing is, if you're not built, see what I what I don't, what I'm tripping on is I don't care about people who you want to be gangs, you want to be from the street. You're a criminal. You commit crimes. Cool. If you're not a criminal, if you don't if you don't if you're not cool with committing crimes and cool with going to jail, stop committing crimes because stop putting yourself in a position to tell on people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or because when that when that when you get caught, be willing to because because when you out there spending that money that you just stole, you balling. You riding around that business, you enjoying your life. And flexing. That's one thing I said I can respect, but that's one thing I respect. My partner who Jay got out, I can respect. Cause he was balling on yachts and spending all kind of money. And he sat down and did his eight like a like a like a man. And came home. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't telling him telling nobody. Hell, he even sent niggas home. Like, no, they ain't got nothing to do with it. It's me. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I respect that. You're a criminal. Do your crime. If you gonna do the time. Yeah, but don't do your crime and then when you get in the room, oh man, he did it too. He was with me too. Don't do that. Anyway, y'all. Like I said, let us know would y'all snitch for less years. Let us know what you think about this situation. Do you think the judge was too lean in this situation? Or do you think? They got what they deserve. Yeah. I told y'all what I think. They didn't get what they deserve. And y'all might say, oh, she lying. But like I said, I, I fear that somebody would do something to a family member. So I'm just going to have to take whatever. If I, I just, if I got in some trouble like that, I'm just going to have to take it because I would be scared somebody's going to do something to my family. I just wish you the best in the situation and hope that hope it changed. I hope, hope it made a difference. You know what I'm saying? Hope they come out changed. Hope they come out rehabilitated as, as you should Like say. I said, at the end of the day, hopefully they do, but I just don't see it because they're not accepting what they did. And them two videos I watched, it, they, they're playing the card of... Oh, victim. Victim, they're not playing the card of I did it. I'm gonna take this. If they came out and said, you know what, we did this, and now we gotta we gotta do this time, then I would respect them. I would be like, you know what, they when they come out, they're gonna be changed. Yeah, but people. they were acting like victims, yeah. But they act like victims the whole time yeah. and, and had an excuse for everything, the reason why they did it. So I don't see it, but they could have changed, but you know, whatever. Well, we're going to get on up out of here. So, like I said, answer those questions for us in the comment section below. Make sure you like, you share, 
with that being said, y'all, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Flexing, falling, I see you.